Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back. After buying the full game, it has come to my conclusion that I really like this game. Um, I cannot wait to continue this. So, without further ado, welcome back to another game of Coffee Talk. Let's continue. I think I'm just gonna do like, one episode at a time, or one day at a time per episode. Unless, like, it's, like, a really short day or something like that. I don't know if that actually happens. But, yeah, you know, you got the corona coming into Seattle. It really sucks. I'll read all this again, I guess. Oh. Good evening. Good gracious. What's wrong with you? Can't you just enter, like, a normal customer? I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm too excited to share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. Okay, okay. Just tell me what are you going to write about? This coffee shop. Hmm. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Uh, are you for real? Yes. Well, what if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking for permission. That's like a breach of customers' personal lives, you know. Relax, I know that. I just needed some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus movie level based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already different, you know? You can't get more different than that. Hmm. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about the coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can't just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. Hmm? What? Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories I'll have. Ah, speak of the devil, who is it this time? <gasps> Georgie, my boy, Georgie. Also, I figured out that I, I can change the music. I don't know if I can just turn it off. No, I can't. Oh, I can. I can have no music. But where's the fun in that? Uh, the music that I do want is way too soon. This song right here. Bops. Also, uh, last episode you guys probably saw it because I put it in there. But I found out how to, you know, actually make the right coffees and what it takes. The things under them. Um, it just tells you, like, how to do that. Like, like it says green tea right here. It says green tea, milk, milk. That's how you make the green tea latte. But, um, you know, that's, you know, just about it. That's all I really learned. Uh. Also, I found out that, you know, I can see other people's things, but we found that on loop, new people, Lou, Lua, Lua, 2nd of October, I don't know how to say that, hmm, 10th of August, yeah, that's close to my birthday, and my brother's birthday, good evening, y'all, good evening, Officer Georgie, hey, pops, seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya, Ah, uh, please jump up. There's no need to be formal with me. Ha ha ha. We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. You're as stiff as ever. Anyways, I have a shift tonight. So I need the usual. You have the ingredients today, right? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for the tea. I'm out of tea. You used to remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for your to what? Thanks to your Tomodachi profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyways, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Okay. Let's serve it to him. There you go, my man, Georgie. How you doing? Coffee with honey for the man on- Not everybody can manage this combination as well as you. Thank you. By the way, 
I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with services like you gave the old man pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. Uh, the, the one and only espresso. Alright. Got you with it. Anytime. I did do that right. Correct. Yeah. A starless sky. A starless night sky for the green haired fairy. I'm not whether to take that as a compliment or not. Hey, hey, this is perfect. Yo, yo. So, how's everything going over on at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. Awful. <sighs> She's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? Eh, a possibly life-altering deal. Eh, very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously? What? Care to share the details properly? You tell them. She's secretly using her work hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's a leap of faith go- oh, oh, sorry. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes up this thing. Uh, her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. Thanks to you for the reminder. So yeah, as Shil Pop said, my editor in chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by a parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the chunk for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is uh, is stealing is is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. Hey, you do this. You do it all the time too. Those are the coffee. Uh, those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. I mean, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. <laughs> Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during your work hours. I want to say th I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. You sure? You sure? Oh God. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any ideas on what you're gonna write it? I actually have one. I actually, I'm, uh, I have actually. Oh good. I mean, oh good. What will the What will it be about? A coffee shop and other stories people tell inside. You're not letting her do that. There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shady looking police officer who happens to take breaks more than they should inside a coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make a great comedic character. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me? Eh? Uh, I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey! What do you have against me tonight? Chill Pop is pretty is probably worried about losing customers due to due to breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on. It's not like I'll be using real names. I'll just dramatize most things I've heard, of course. 
that's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, has someone stationed here? I assume you've heard a lot of stories from people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. No, no, no. You helped me once with that. Uh, you helped me once with the. Uh, we want. Okay, you helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the sketchy rich beg beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What? Really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the bus, the busker, the one who's always paying, playing his guitar. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about his girlfriend passing during an investigation is, I don't know. It's hard. He took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rose, uh, the rose has become more kind of prop. Okay. Yeah, the rose has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyways, back to top, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in in the area more than not, more than before. She's pretty weird, and I don't know her, what her deal is. She has bright green hair. Oh come on! <laughs> I was excited to hear about something real. You think you're not? You think you're not real? Well, that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Uh, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with short stories. By the way, this coffee shop? Why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of time. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> because I spend a lot of time here, I guess. And then there's a. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. <laughs> what about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, different families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been, uh, it's been told in fiction, in fictional from. Oh, okay. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her customers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up. Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I re but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm. Good for you. I mean, good for you. Anyways, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share any, any anything interesting you hear with me. Please, oh, okay. Let's not make this a habit. I can't promise you that. Okay then, see you later everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Bro, his voice is killing me, I cannot. That's a smoker voice right there. Man not, needs to stop smoking. I think I need to get back to my writing. No offense, but I like con uh, but I need to concentrate like crazy. Uh, so I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with writing. And don't forget to keep uh, and don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Oh, you're the best, chill pop. You're welcome. Okay, 
Off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. Hmm? That should do it for my for the experiment. Ah, someone is coming. Oh? Hey, what's up? Oh, welcome, Mr. Glala. Um Hi chill pup. Can we sit here? Sure thanks, sir. Mm. Mm. Hmm, this is the place you recommend. You don't like it? Mm. It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shop you're used to in LA, but Gala, it's fine. Uh sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes, I mean, yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Anything with coffee with coffee and ginger, please. Alright, coffee and ginger. Let's see, is there, anything, is there anything for that? Coffee, ginger, coffee, ginger, coffee, ginger. Nothing, because I don't got anything. Really sucks, man. Nothing with coffee and ginger. Okay. Well, you know what? Coffee, ginger, and what about milk? Or maybe sweetness. Or maybe not sweetness. Maybe more coffee. Maybe more ginger. Maybe some milk. Or maybe some honey. Anything with coffee and ginger, so. More ginger. Alright. There you go. Beep, beep, beep. Your order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever he's having. Alright, well, coffee, ginger, ginger. You're welcome. Serve it up. Here's your order. <sighs> Sorry, I'm drinking some juice. <sighs> mm, good choice. Anyways, how's the treat? How's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things change a lot in just 20 years. Excuse me. Even this coffee shop. I believe it was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? Uh, we opened around six years ago, mister. Mister... Hyde. My name is Hyde. From what I've gathered, you're from LA, right? Uh, I am. I used to live there a couple... Uh, I, I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot. He travels a lot. I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume. You could say that. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, I think we met not so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 18, uh, 1865. So when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about 1860s? <clears throat> no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by the same, uh, we're old by the same race's standards, but not that old. Although it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long night in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it, where we first met? 
Yeah, when it was a bar. When it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Ah, such a pity. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh. You're happy the bar closed down? What's with that smile if you don't mind me asking? Heh, <laughs> nothing. I was just wondering. Will history repeat itself? Uh, I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You've got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gala. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about the newfound virus going viral, the hospitals have been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. But most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the hospital. What was it called? Administ... Administ... Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. <laughs> to each their own. Anyways, I was wondering, do you still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They can just order that blood marketplace. Oh, they can order through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about blood glass? Uh huh. Blood glass get their supplies from from the hospital. They can't certify blood on their own. Only hospitals and ministries of health can do that. They're just middlemen with a they're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. You use it often? Not really. I'm trying to I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle. Remember? But I do remember the founder of the app that started up. Uh, that started up. That started up? Okay. Oh yeah. How's your vegan diet going? It's not easy. It's not easy. But I can't conquer. Oh. Yeah. But I can't conquer. Oh, uh, excuse me for excuse me for asking. But going vegan? Do you mean? Uh, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. What does that mean? Synthetic blood? Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain. But basically some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind. Without relying on real blood. Consider real blood as some culture and health concerns. Uh, considering real blood has some culture and health concerns. Does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood taste good? If I missed it if I mixed it with other ingredients? Why? You wanna start selling blood based drinks? It might attract new customers. And turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires drink, prefer drinking raw blood. Although, some do try exper experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some mix of with... Huh? But I know some mix it with not-so-legal substances. Heh. <laughs> You know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? <laughs> Talking about my vegan lifestyle me reminded me to ask you something. About what? Uh, your monthly furry. Yeah, I found a less painful method to restrain yourself. Not yet. Oh, have you found? Okay. But I do. But I do know that it's a drink. What? What kind of drink? A certain. A certain combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you ordered coffee with ginger? Yes, I'm exploring its possibilities. But this, but this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee to. Uh, oh, 
I guess it's too much caffeine in the coffee for it to be the to for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use why don't you use the fairy uh sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, the sedative is too general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. And sometimes the effect of this can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do... Mm, kinky stuff to soothe themselves during the furry. What kind of kinky? Like BDSM. What, where is this going? What the? Wait, what? It's famous. It's famous among our kind. You don't need to feel ashamed if you like watching it. If you like watching that kind of thing, you know. Hey, a friend told me about it. Well, he was pulling your leg. Dang. I mean, having sex as a as a calming method is pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, wouldn't it be pretty brutal doing bandage? doing bondage stuff during the ferry exactly so continuing with your story how far along are you finding the ingredients for the remedy so far all I know is that it involves ginger and probably something lightly caffeined like tea maybe tea you better write that down you won't want him wrecking havoc in the coffee shop we don't have any tea today I mean we don't have any tea today but the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing with the brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. Mm. 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 I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. All right. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit your coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care on your way home. Yeah, I need a drink. That was a lot. Hey. Are you done? Are you, oh, are you done writing for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys? Kinda remind me of the video I saw online. I would prefer if you didn't I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a werewolf of a wolf pup playing with the baby tiger. It's an it's nice to see a friendship that can grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. Oh never mind. Mm, you uh I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Oh, okay. All right. Wow. All right. Nah. nah. I don't like you anymore, Freya. I thought I was just going to take you to the back room and I was going to show you how to brew coffee. But no, nah, not anymore. Now I got to take you behind the counter and show you how to brew coffee. What's your problem? Hey, anyways, it was pretty interesting and productive. It was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't worry. I will be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. Oh, the night's done already? Man, I was hoping for some more. That sucks. Thursday, September 24th, 2020. Make sure that you hit the like button and also subscribe. Uh, um, if you guys didn't like the video, make sure that you just like the video. It's okay. Um, if you guys like my content, make sure that you like and that you like everything, like all my videos. And then I, you also subscribe to my channel. If you guys didn't, just subscribe and that's uh, whatever. Share it to your friends if you want to. Um, I had a fun time playing this with you guys again. Um, I hope you guys don't mind me playing this game. I really do enjoy it. Like I, I feel like you know this is a very interesting game. I hope you guys don't mind me messing up with my worries a lot. But um, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye.